Hey there YouTube, that's it here bringing you guys really cool VGC battle against uh, a Trick Room team and it's not a super obvious Trick Room team but looking at like Conkeldur, Sylveon, Heatran and a potentially slow Kang it gives off that aura of Trick Room without actually demanding it. So looking at my team on the left hand side it's going to be Zapdos, Milotic, Kangaskhan, Heatran, Amoongus and Landorus. Super standard stuff here, this is probably one of the most standard teams you're ever going to see on my channel. Up against, uh, well, his name's Suck My Weedle, pretty uh, original name I'd say, and he has Kang, Crystallia, Sylveon, Conkeldur, uh, Hydreigon, I'm always calling that guy Sazendora, that's the Japanese name, and Heatran, so a lot of similar Pokemon, but uh, his team has a definite Trick Room vibe, while my team has that Tailwind vibe. So we're going to start off and show off how to play against Trick Room with Tailwind. So you see me lead off with Zapdos and Landers right here. I'm not confirmed that he's Trick Room, but after seeing Conkeldur and pairing Conkeldur with Cresselia, I can safely say that, yeah, this is going to be a Trick Room. I don't want to pop a Tailwind. It's not really going to be worth it here. I decided to go for a U-turn, and not seeing the uh, Rocky Helmet, that even confirms it even more, because it probably has a Citrus, just so it can automatically get off that Trick Room. I decided to go into Amoongus just to eat the potential Ice Punch if he wants to go that route. I know Amoongus would still take super effective damage, but I'd rather eat it there. And he goes for a Rock Slide instead. Great play from him. Remember, he is intimidated, so it's not going to do that much to my Zapdos. And Cresselia obviously is going to pop that Trick Room. So, Trick Room, everything speed's going to be reversed for 5 turns. I'm going to try and wait this out. And obviously, Amoongus is always going to be the slowest thing in a Trick Room, so that's why I really... Don't know why he kind of stayed in with these guys, because I'm just going to protect and spore both of his Pokemon. He gets a nice Psychic off. I probably should have just spored the Cresselia, but I really thought he might go for like a Helping Hand Ice Punch. That's why I spored the Conkeldur. I still end up getting the Spore on the Cresselia, though, and they're both going to be asleep for a while. And now it's time for Zapdos just to come out and clean up. Remember, you can see the Trick Room counter counting down. Looks like this is the third, or there's it's been two turns. There's three turns left after this one. And uh, I feel really confident, because if my Zapdos stays, I can just Rage Powder for a couple turns. my Zapdos stays, I can pop a Tailwind at the end, and then even my, like, Amoongus and other weird Pokemon will be faster than him. So, we see him switch out his Cresselia, going to Hydreigon. He has two Pokemon that aren't asleep right now. Goes into that super scary Mega Kangaskhan. My Amoongus is going to pop a Protect. I would rather not eat a Fake Out here. Zapdos is also going to Protect, just because both their Protects are up. And he's just going to be wasting his turn. Remember, there is one more turn of Trick Room. So, like I said, the obvious play for me is going to be to spore one of his Pokemon. He switches back out into Cresselia. Actually, no, I, I do a different play. I go for a Rage Power just to guarantee my Tailwind. That's what I did. Yep. I am so good. So, <laughs> yeah, I eat the Dark Pulse. I know he was originally targeting Zapdos. But uh, Zapdos, on the last turn of Trick Room, is going to get a Tailwind off. So that means for, you know, the next three turns, my team is going to be super fast. Even things like my Heatran, if I want to bring it, are faster than his Hydreigon. That means my Kangaskhan is faster than his Hydreigon. His Cresselia is still asleep, and he's only been asleep for one turn. So I feel I can most likely just KO it next turn. Let's see if I proc a Citrus, which of course I do. Which means next turn I'll just target that slot with my Kang. So we're going to see Low Kick come in. Super effective on that Hydreigon, picking up the KO. Remember, I'm super fast in this Tailwind. Cresselia is actually going to wake up on the second turn. I probably should have attacked Cresselia instead. He does get the Trick Room off, so not only... Is this Trick Room up, but I still have a Tailwind up, so it's actually super reverse. There's no way any of my Pokemon are going to be able to go first in this Trick Room. It means I have to swap up my Kang, go into Landorus here. Got to intimidate that Kang for now. And all I'm trying to do right now is just wait out, like, my own my own Tailwind so I can actually come back into this game. So we're going to see my Zapdos actually get KO'd. No big deal, it has to happen eventually. Landorus is going to eat a huge return. That's an intimidated return, and that still did that much to my Choice Scarf Landorus. We're going to see my Kangaskhan come in here, and I think these are my last two Pokemon versus his last two. Kang's going to go for Protect, hoping he goes for the Nuke on it, and he decides to Ice Beam my Landorus. So, a game that I was really, I was definitely winning this game, and now it looks like I'm playing on the back foot. We're going to see him go for a Low Kick by Protected, and this is one of the coolest turns of the game. This is why I uploaded this game. My Tailwind's going to peter out, doesn't really matter all that much, but there's two turns left of Trick Room, so i got to wait this out. He goes for a Helping Hand on his Kangaskhan, and goes for a Low Kick. But he gets low end on the second kick, and it leaves me at 1%. Now, remember, he was intimidated, <clears throat> so that's why he didn't pick up the KO. And I actually pick up the KO with my just neutral low kick. He definitely got low end on that second low kick. Now, I'm just going to protect here, wait out the last turn of Trick Room. And remember that Cresselia has, like, no Rocky Helmet, nothing to do to counter me. 
and it's just going to be my Kangaskhan pulling through, pulling it out with a huge double edge, taking out Cresselia from about 50%. Remember, I do go down to this double edge, but the way mechanics work in uh, Generation 6, if you're the one who deals the killing blow, you're the one that wins the game. If he had a Rocky Helmet, my first hit didn't kill him, so uh, I would have lost the game. And uh, yeah, you could see it right there. I totally won the game. And uh, so I would say that Trick Room generally has the advantage fighting against a Tailwind team. And especially a Tailwind team that gets Tailwind off and then has to fight in said Trick Room. But there's always ways to wait it out and still come out the victor. And I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Like I said, I, I always have fun playing games like this. These are some of my favorite uh, fun ones to play on Showdown. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.